So you just installed the intake and exhaust in your 3G Eclipse and you realize you need more power. So you look into headers, but you don't know where to look. Stay tuned. I'm going to give you guys some insight on where to get some headers for your 3G Eclipse. Back. What's up guys, Heath Rock here, welcome to the vlog, if you're new, welcome to the channel, like and subscribe. So this was a very popular question and I see a lot of misconceived information on the internet, uh, social media. So in this video I'm going to basically cover uh, the most expensive header, the most cost effective header, uh, the cheapest header, uh, headers I don't recommend. I'll drop all the links and websites to where you can buy these headers. And I'll kind of just talk about each one. Um, I've, in my history of owning this 3G, I have owned eBay headers, RIP mods, and I have personally driven a couple other uh, header setups. So I'll kind of provide my insight and recommendations and what I think about them. So to kick off this video, just know that there are two different type of headers. There's short tube and long tube headers. I will drop a link and I'll probably throw a little picture up here so you guys know which one I'm talking about. And it will basically go into detail of the difference between long tube and short tube. So you can be able, basically be able to pick the application that suits you, what you need for your car. So there's probably like three or four categories that I want to go to. So the first category that I just want to get out of the way is my personal recommendation. And this is just for 3.0s. This is not for 3.5, Mavic, because or anything like that. Because that will be a different subject and I would have a different choice of header. So if I just had a 3.0... The first set of headers that I would probably look into is RPW. Now, RPW is a company that's in Australia. Uh, they actually specialize in a lot of 6072, I think it's the Magna, so to say. So, they, Dave is one of the, I think he's still the owner. Um, he has put a lot of research into headers and just products for the 3G, if you didn't know. Um, I will drop the link for his website. So... They also, they basically offer the short tube and the long tube. I've personally had both. Um, I personally think that this is probably the best sounding header on the 3G 3.0. Um, and performance gains from it is very well. Uh, there's, and the only drawback in my opinion would be is, okay, if you're in the US, you have to purchase this from Australia. They're built to made, so... Of course, the shipping and all that is going to take a while for you to get your part. So that will be my only pro. Actually, no, there's one more uh, con as well. These headers are made of mild steel. And if you guys don't know, that means that they will potentially rust. But these headers come ceramic coated before they, uh, before they ship them. So they have a coating on them to prevent the rusting. And it's also to help prevent heat dissipation. So... Just know that once this coating wears off, you probably have to recoat them. Uh, you can either A, get professionally coated, or B, go to a parts store and spray them yourself. Uh, personally, I would probably just get it professionally done because it lasts a lot longer. Another good thing about this set of headers is that it actually has the EGR uh, bung, so you will not have to worry about cutting the EGR tube and add in a filter, it actually has a bong and you can uh, screw in your existing one. So you don't have to probably worry about any SE lights and stuff like that. And just talking about check engine lights, um, it's a hit or miss for EGR codes and stuff like that. Personally, I haven't had any issues with EGR uh, codes and I don't have any kind of EGR on my car. So I know there's, there's tricks to fool the ECU and you can actually probably go into EC Flash and delete the bit. I just haven't had any success with that. So RPW is probably my number one choice if I had to get uh, headers for the 3.0. The most expensive header on the market for the 3G, and a lot of people don't know this, is high-tech headers. This is a long tube header. It is built to order, and you're going to be spending over $2,000. God damn! Yes, very expensive. Um, I do believe that these headers provide the most gains for horsepower. Now, speaking of gains, because I didn't say it in RPWs, it's going to be between 10 to 30 horsepower, depending on which ones you get, because you got the short tube and you got the long tube. 
And it also depends on who tunes it and how aggressive the tune is. So high tech headers are stainless steel. Uh, they are very beautiful and really made well. I've actually talked to the owner of high tech and when he was developing these headers for the 3G, there's a lot of fluid dynamics and just a lot of science behind just everything. It, it goes over my head. So uh, like I said, the owner is very well versed in the 3G and he also makes them for the 75 if you're gonna go that route as well. But like I said, that is another subject and we're not gonna be talking about that. This is just strictly for the 3.0. The cons of high tech headers. Uh, for one, the price, uh, over $2,000 plus shipping. So you're gonna be spending about almost close to three grand uh, to get these headers. That's pretty pricey for a 3G uh, quest. But then again, there's not a lot of uh, headers out there on the market. Uh, the other con would be probably because you don't have an EGR bone. Now, the EGR bone is a weird, uh, you could weld one if you want it, but I believe that it's like a, it's a weird thread fitting, and I don't think you're going to find a bung that actually fit that. So, those are the only two cons that I can actually think off of the top of my head. Uh, other than that, this is probably the number one header on the market, but it's also the most expensive mark, uh, expensive one on the market. Second header, uh, this is one that you cannot purchase new, and... All these headers that I mentioned, you can actually buy these used. You're just going to have to go on the Facebook market, Craigslist, and just search for them. Uh, I don't see these pop up on eBay uh, anymore, but you definitely will see these on the Facebook market because actually this is how I got my set of RIP Mods headers. Now, RIP Mods headers, I've had the first gen and the second gen. The main difference between the first gen and the second gen... Um, for what I remember, uh, the first gen wasn't a slip-on application, uh, and it was actually flanges. And I think they actually, on the second gen, they kind of mimicked the high-tech header, so it's basically a high-tech header. Um, I Like I said, I bought mine used. Uh, like I said, I've seen some high-tech headers for sale um, used as well. And I think I may have spent $600. Now... When these headers first came out, and you can search on the forum, and they'll talk about the gains and the different. Uh, actually, when Rip Mods was actually active on the forum, they'll talk about the design and why they designed it this way, and um, just there's a lot of information up there. These headers also were over two grand. Yeah. So damn. back then, the 3G market was popping, and a lot of people spent that type of money to get headers. Now, one thing I didn't mention with long tube headers that you're gonna have to extend the O2 wires. Um, on the RPWs, uh, I didn't have to extend them. And if if you guys don't know what that means, uh, and it depends on if you got a Cali spec or a Fed spec, that means different years between the, the 3G eclipses because um, the primary O2 sensors will not be in the stock location, so they're a little bit longer. And I did cover this in another video, and I found out that the Evo uh, O2 for Evo 8, the O2 harness extensions that they make actually fit and they actually work. So that's what I ended up doing instead of cutting and uh, soldering my own O2 extensions. So there is an option for you guys if you do not want to cut and solder wires for your O2 harnesses. Now, the short two hubbers, you didn't have to do that. Uh, I would highly recommend just kind of going through the main harness and kind of separating the O2 wires uh, from that loom just to give you enough length because you don't want that wire like really taut and it, it ends up pulling out of the harness. So just separate it uh, from the loom and just rewipe it and um, have like some kind of heat uh, shrinking on it. That way it does the heat doesn't burn it. Um, so that's one thing that is another con with using long tube headers is that you're gonna have to extend the O2 wires. And if you decide to use the secondary O2 sensors, I personally don't because it's a track car, um, you're gonna have to extend those as well. Okay, last option. Now, I'm probably gonna trigger some people because I see a lot of these headers on a lot of 3Gs. eBay headers would not use these at all i had them they suck they sound horrible uh the fitment has actually gotten a lot worse compared to what i had before um and i've helped try to install some on some 3gs and i mean the quality of them are horrible there's a big but though okay so obx makes a header 
that stainless steel. It is a direct copy of the RPW short tube headers. Okay, before anybody goes out there and try to go buy this header, it does not fit. The fitment is off. You will have to cut the downpipe and re-weld it or extend it to so it will fit. Now, I know some people have found some eBay headers and they fit perfectly, um, but the gains from it is horrible. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to make any horsepower from it, but there are better options out there than eBay headers. And like I said, they sound horrible. Hands down, I don't even like the sound of my rip mods. I don't even like the sounds of the high techs either. I like the sound of RPWs. Um, there's a clip that I will link um, that I think this is the best sounding 3G header setup combo that I've, I've heard. <laughs> take that away and this is on a 3.0 i'm not talking about 3.8 or anything like that but yes ebay headers suck point blank sorry if i upset you but it's the truth if you have to get ebay headers just know you're taking the gamble of them not fitting and you're gonna basically have to take it to an exhaust shop and about how much money you just spend at that exhaust shop you could just have some rpws so go rpw so that's it guys like i said that is basically covering all the headers that i know of in the 3g market now i didn't even go into any kind of custom setups or anything like that this is strictly just going on the internet buying the headers and then they receiving and you put them on and this is strictly for the 3.0 um if i missed anything let me know in the comments actually i would like to know anybody else's opinion because i know a lot of people will comment about the ebay headers and i know a lot of people have them i've personally had them as well but I've also had other headers as well, and they outperform those hands down. Uh, like I said, I'm not saying that you're not going to gain any power from the eBay headers, but you're actually going to gain more power from the other ones, and you're going to sound a lot better. And they're just built better. You don't have to struggle with install. So that's it, guys. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.